everybody. It's Shelly here from Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Um, I am here today in the kitchen uh, making some hearty hamburger soup with noodles. Um, Gail from Gail's Southern Living uh, put out an open collaboration for anybody that would like to do uh, cozy fall soups and um, so I was thinking, I don't do soups that often, and we eat soup, I just don't do soup that often, you know, make it that often, um, maybe when we don't feel good or whatever, but I thought uh, it would be a good idea to join in in this and put myself out there and try some soup. This was fun, I wanted it to be fun, um, and so we're gonna start with our cozy, hearty hamburger soup. Okay, so I started with um, frying up my hamburger in my cast iron pan. Uh, you just wanna cook it up so that it's nice and brown and cooked all the way through. Uh, and while I did that, I cut up my um, onions and I cut up my celery and my potatoes. I just start, decided to do some chopped up bite-sized potatoes in the soup as well. So I did that. Um, so I chopped that up while the burger was cooking. And I also uh, put in some bouillon cubes in uh, some water. So I used two bouillon cubes in four cups of water. Uh, let the, just let that heat up, the water heat up, and it just dissolves that bouillon cube. It was beef bouillon. Um, and I just stirred it up so it was nice and mixed in while everything was cooking. So once the burger was done, I drained off the, um, what there was of grease in the pan and I put it in my stock pot that I'm going to cook my soup in. Then I added in that same cast iron pan that I had just cooked the burger in, a tablespoon of olive oil and, um, put in my celery, onions, uh, and garlic uh, to just kind of get uh, cooked up a little bit translucent looking um, and cook it, just get the cooking process going on that so once it goes into the stock pot it doesn't have very long to cook. So once that was done uh, cooking, um, I added my herbs, which I added uh, one and a half teaspoons of dried basil, a teaspoon of oregano, uh, three quarter teaspoons of dried thyme. Um, and with my burger, when I was cooking it, I added sea salt and black pepper. So I did not add it to um, the vegetables because it was already in the burger. So once that was done, uh, I put that into the pot with the burger and my four cups of beef stock that I had made up with my bouillon cubes. I added my potatoes and then I slowly added the other ingredients. I added some uh, fire diced tomatoes, fire roasted I believe they're called, diced tomatoes. Um, I added a condensed can of tomato soup. I order, uh, added the bag of carrots and peas and stirred everything all together. So I let that cook about 25 minutes until the potatoes were uh, cooked down really well. Um, and so when you bit into them, they were nice and soft. So basically that's all you're doing is heating everything together um, and cooking it because the potatoes are really the only thing that is not cooked um, in this dish. Uh, while I did that, I also uh, boiled up some um, a half a cup of egg noodles and I put those in to my soup once they were done 
just to add a little bit more hardiness to it, give it a little more um, heft to the to the soup. I didn't want to cook the noodles in with the soup while it was cooking because it, they would get too mushy and I figured the starch would come out of the noodles into the soup and just make it too starchy and just mushy and I didn't want that. So while all of that was cooking down for the 25 minutes, I mixed up um, a batch of my baking mix from my Bisquick recipe. Okay, a little bonus guys. We're gonna make some um, Bisquick biscuits per request of the husband. So we've got two cups of the baking powder in here. Um, sorry, the baking um, mix from the Bisquick. I think it's a it's a great value brand, so it's a Walmart brand, but um, the same thing as Bisquick. So all I had was two cups left of this, and I don't want to open up another box just to get another half a half or a quarter of a cup. So um, we're going to just do the two cups. That'll be enough. Um, and I'm going to do. Let's see. A half a tablespoon of garlic in there. And we like a lot of garlic. If you hadn't noticed, I put garlic in everything. Ooh, okay. And then we're going to put a, a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. And I'm going to start with a half a cup of water and I'm just going to put it in a little bit, maybe like a third of a cup, stir it around. We like them to be nice and garlicky. So that's still pretty dry. So I'm going to take a little more water, not quite all of it. Still, still probably a third of a cup left, maybe, so. Well, it's getting better. Let me get it stirred around so the powder's all mixed in good. pretty good pretty good and sticky they hold their shape now if you want to be them to be a little wetter you could put a little bit more water in I don't want them too dry I like them to stick together so that was about a half a cup it was a little bit over a half a cup of water um, in there and I've got just a little bit left so it was a little bit over a half a cup so it's two cups of baking mix a half a cup of water or milk. I don't have any milk today. Um, and I didn't want to go out just for milk for this. And I've used water before and it works just fine. Um, you just need something wet to put in there. I mean, I wouldn't put bourbon in there, but you know, you just need to have something. Although that bourbon biscuits, that could be something. Um, anyway, so you want it just so they're nice and sticky and they'll hold together and they're not too dry. And then I'll get the pan out and we'll put them in the pan. All right, here's my baking pan. And I just get a little, little spoonful. I try to get about six biscuits, but this might not make six just because um, it's a little less than what I normally have. Although if I do them kind of small, they'll puff up. Now look, on the package, on the Walmart brand package, the great value, it says to put it on a floured um, cutting board or floured surface and knead the dough, mix it all together. Um, you just saw, I just did it with a spoon, mixed it. I didn't knead it. I didn't, you know, do anything special. Basically, they're just drop biscuits. I drop them on. I'm not gonna 
Um, I'm not going to get into kneading it and stuff. I've made these so many times and I've never had to. They fluff up nicely and they taste delicious and they're not too heavy and I feel like if you need them too much they'll they'll get hard and I don't want hard biscuits. I like the soft buttery biscuits. So that's going to be that. 450 degrees. These are going to bake at for 8 to 10 minutes. So we'll have 8 to 10 minutes of waiting for these and the soup is cooking and I'm making a few noodles to go in it as well. So um, we'll bring you back and show you what we got finished. So there's a hearty soup and let's cut the biscuit open there and look at all the ingredients in there I mean it's just full of veggies burger noodles potato mmm that is so good okay guys this is really good I'm so glad I did this and I think Scott will even like it because it's just full of all kinds of really yummy stuff um, the biscuits, of course, are delicious as usual. Um, I put a lot of garlic in them. Love garlic. We love garlic here, and garlic's good for you, so why not? Um, so good. If you guys haven't tried hearty hamburger soup, um, you should. Of course, you can put in what you want for vegetables or, or meat even. You could substitute with uh, chicken. Um, or you can put something else in for vegetables if you don't like carrots or peas. Um, I thought it was really good. And um, I hope you try it. And if you do, let me know. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video of me making this cozy fall soup. And um, if you do, if you'd like the video and subscribe. And go down and leave a comment whether you'd like to try it or um, if you have tried it. Uh, it was, I think it's really delicious and I think Scott's going to enjoy it too. So, um, anyway, with that, thanks for stopping by and take care. Mm -hmm.